Good energy. Well, you guys are going to enjoy this next interview because we actually have a congresswoman right here from District 1 where we film our show coming to talk with us. So please put your hands together for Dina Titus. Come on out. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Oh, we, we hug you. around here. Oh, all it's right. good. Thank you. But those political handshakes are good. Yeah, have a seat. Okay. All right. Well, first off, thank you so much for coming down and checking out our little show that we do down here. Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, okay. So first off, a lot of people who have moved downtown, well, we've come because there's all this opportunity that uh, a whole bunch of different reasons have kind of come together for, right? But there's all sorts of uh, tech scene and a fashion scene and, and things growing. And what are like the things that we should know? Because at least from my point of view, I don't know a ton about the history of Las Vegas. I don't know a lot outside of this downtown scene. But what's going on, and what do you think people should be aware of, especially these entrepreneurs and small business owners? Well, I love representing downtown. My district goes Did from you? the airport to Cashman Field, and we say if it's happening, it's happening downtown. It used to be the strip. Yeah. <laughs> We, know how to write them up. Uh, yeah. we have a hashtag that's only in District 1. And so here in downtown, you have the best of the old and the new. You've got some of the historic things like El Cortez, and then you've got cutting edge things like Zappos. I think you have the best of both worlds. Yeah, you know, I checked out the hashtag when you recommended it, and it was cool to see everything that was happening. So that's a great. So tell me more about this hashtag and what you're using. Well, it for. I like to visit a lot of the local businesses, not the chains, but the bars and the restaurants and Smalls. the bars and the restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> and that are that are locally owned, and we always uh, we always tweet it out and oh, encourage yeah. people to do the same. And we ask other people when they do exciting things in the district to link us with that hashtag. Yeah, and you'll be great. surprised what people do in this district. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing surprises me about this district. <laughs> but uh, so, have you been down to the Container Park and walked through all of the different of course, uh, of places I've that are going on down there? I've toured it. Our office is only about three blocks away, so oh. Uh, oh, we're down you? here all the time. Nice. We have bicycles in our office where we <laughs> ride around the bicycles. So yeah, we love it. Okay. All right. So it's legit. You're, you're downtown all the time. That's where your offices are. Yep. You know the Container Park and you've now made it to our TV show, which is great. I know. Yeah. I, I feel like Tiny little thing. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so w when we were talking before, you had all sorts of interesting things. You were talking about uh, uh, like with the roads that were coming on, the spaghetti bowl or something, but I, just talk about some of these interesting things that I don't think everybody's aware of. Well, if you think about what all is downtown, besides the exciting corridor that's the kind of glitter gulch, you've got the Smith Center, uh, you've got the Ruvo Medical Center, you've mm -hmm. got uh, the Neon Museum, I don't know, maybe the Mob Museum, all kind of things that are happening here culturally, economically, and socially. So uh, we want to be sure that it continues to flourish. And so any way we can encourage business down here, we want to do it. And one way is transportation. If you can't get down here, then you can't enjoy what it has to offer. And what's happening is they're reconfiguring the spaghetti bowl. That's called Project Neon, appropriately enough. But it's been described by RTC as going to be three years of hell. Oh. So just get ready. So you want to walk, <laughs> ride your bicycle, you want to stay off of that part of the highway. But when it's over, you're when anticipating over, a much better be connection right. downtown. And exactly. that'll be, will that include anything besides just changing the roads? Like, is there more? Uh, public transportation coming or well, anything to know about? It, we uh, had a meeting with RTC today to talk about how we can incorporate public transportation. And we'd like to see the whole Maryland corridor redone so that you can connect the Huntridge Theater to the airport and rehabilitate all of those areas because, you know, downtown can grow a little bit with some of those neighborhoods uh, that are surrounding us because there's not a lot of places to live downtown. We've got to rejuvenate the, the housing yeah. around here as well. Okay, so a lot of times it's like you come downtown and um, if you've only been here a few years, you're not quite sure how different it was. But could you give us right. a little bit of perspective? Because um, I guess things change so fast and when you're kind of in the moment, you don't see it. But like, how True. is downtown different from 10, 5, 10 years ago? Well, I came in 1977 to teach at no, UNLV. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's before yeah. you were born. Uh, yes, uh, so, we fans out there. So, <laughs> so uh, I've seen a lot of changes. I've seen it up and I've seen it down. Uh, we saw when the Golden Nugget got rehabilitated and that seemed like that was going to bring some folks downtown. Then it kind of 
you know, kind of went downhill. And then when the recession hit, it was really hard downtown. But now, when, since uh, Zappos has come in, the city has some redevelopment money. You've got new restaurants coming in. More folks are here. Yeah. The people who are kind of responsible for keeping you safe when you come downtown. First Friday is part of this whole scene. Yeah. Uh, life is beautiful. Oh, life is part beautiful. Of it. Great. Yeah. Is we love all that. And I think it's working. I think it's yeah. taking. You know, it's also interesting, a lot of international tourists like to come downtown as opposed to the Strip because it's kind of the scene that they enjoy at home, whether it's sidewalk cafes or being able to walk. And it's a little cutting edge. Uh, I would say funky, but that dates me for using that term. <laughs> no, it's retro. Uh, it's coming back around. Okay. You're, you're on top of it this time. You yeah, keep something around long enough, it comes back yeah. in style. You know, this retro clothes, that's just old stuff you've right. had in the You're ahead of the fashion. Time. It's true. Yeah. That's good. Well, a lot of our audience is in the Philippines right now, so all of Southeast Asia is where we are. So, huge in the Philippines. That's good. We'll get them out here. Um, okay, so let's jump over to our, I want to jump to our social media booth and uh, see. We know we had asked some audience members if they had any questions, but Kyle, I just want to check in with you. Is there anything um, we should be talking to the Congresswoman about? Yeah, uh, Meredith on Okay, what are you working on that will help end veteran homelessness right. in Las Vegas? Well, I serve on the Veterans Committee in Congress, and uh, veterans homelessness is a big issue. And as the population grows here in southern Nevada, you know, we're winding down some wars, more people are getting out of service. They're coming here because, well, the weather is warm and opportunities are great. But you also have more homeless. We've tried to count the homeless veterans. That's difficult in itself. But more programs that are aimed at mental health, drug abuse, and some kind of job training all will help people get off the streets and into a better transition to civilian life. Okay, and you're trying to make that happen, all, of, all those different elements? That's that a real priority. Plans. We're working with the VA and with veterans organizations to try to find those veterans and help them. And you'd be surprised how many women veterans are homeless who are in shelters or living in cars with young children, and they're often the hidden veterans, so we don't want to forget them oh, that's either. That's interesting, yeah, probably didn't account for that. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, um, uh, oh, do you just have a great story from downtown? Like, is there a place that you can say, like, you had something really fun happen, or? Well, I do have could... a great story. I'm glad you asked that. Sure. Uh, <laughs> this is not preset. Uh, I don't know no, what the no, story is. True. Yeah, that's I honestly true. don't. Well, in 1979, my husband and I, he teaches history at UNLV, got married downtown. Oh. And we went, just the two of us, my sister and a friend, chapel, huh? to, uh, no, we didn't go to a oh, wedding okay. chapel, but we went to just kind of like the commissary of the marriages. Okay. And the guys who married us was sitting in there drinking scotch out of a coffee cup. And he kept Everybody's saying, he kept saying, marriage is a sober occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Tom was laughing. I was crying, thinking, oh, my mother's not going to like this. But then we had 50 cent Corvoisiers uh, at the Union Plaza and went to the old El Sombrero before it's new version of this. So that was 1979. So I've been coming down here a long time. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Here are the all right. Well, I think that's all the time we have. But that's I want it? to say, yeah. Well, will you invite me to it. come back? Yeah, you are always invited to Thank come you. back. Thank you all very right. much. Thank I appreciate you. it. And good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. The internet, the world's most amazing tool to stare at adorable cats like all day. But it doesn't have to be that way, really. Tracky helps you connect, collaborate, and get stuff done. It's a social way to organize your personal and professional life. Inspire the people you work with. And inspire yourself to enjoy more of life's little things. And when the work is done, Tracky helps you plan and play. Gather your friends and have some fun. And make sure your plans are awesome. Fun. Easy. Nobody needs to worry about bears this time around. A long day and a fun night deserve the thwack of a high five. Welcome to Tracky, the tool where everything and everyone in your life works together in harmony. Connect. Collaborate. Done.